Hey guys, so I'm gonna try to be quiet because Anthony's doing a meeting right now, but today is my 28 week um, doctor's appointment and that means that they're gonna do the glucose test. So I have my drink here. It's the lemon lime flavor. I didn't have this last time. I think last time I had fruit punch. Um, and so I have to drink it and drink it within um, 10 minutes and then they're gonna draw my blood and see if I can pass the test and um, digest the sugars, I think is what it looks for. So I was just gonna get this on camera and start um, drinking it. Hopefully it tastes good. I think people said it tastes like Sprite, like flat Sprite. Um, I a lot of people have horror stories about these drinks. I like the last one, the fruit punch one. I thought it tasted fine. I'm used to sugary drinks, like I like sugar. <laughs> so it doesn't bother me, but other people say like they've had bad reactions to it. So I'm not quite sure about that, but let me check the time. Okay, it's, it is 45 minutes until my appointment. That's when I was supposed to take it. Some places have you fast, like all day before the appointment mine didn't do that i just can't eat or drink anything after i take this drink so um here we go i'll i'll record myself drinking this i guess okay bottoms up i guess <laughs> yeah it tastes like flat sprite Tastes fine. Tastes great. All right, well, I will keep you updated on the results. Hey guys, sorry, it might be a little loud because I'm putting the air conditioning on because I'm hot. Um, Because I just got back in the car. I just wanted to give you all an update. Um, I had my doctor's appointment. I got all banged up. I got my blood drawn. I got a shot in each arm, a Rogam shot because I have negative blood type. And then Tdap, whooping cough, they just suggest all moms get it. So you like pass the antibodies onto the baby. Because babies can't get it till they're like six months old. And it's really fatal for babies. So I suggest getting it if you were offered it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I went to my doctor's off, uh, appointment. It went great. She measured my belly and I was measuring, I'm actually measuring a week ahead, which is new. Um, so tomorrow I'll be 29 weeks and I was measuring 30 weeks at that appointment. So, um, with Grayson, I always measured right on track. Like I was never ahead or behind. So that's kind of different, but it is only a week. So it's not that big of a deal. We heard the heartbeat. The baby did not like the monitor because he kept kicking at it. He was going crazy. I don't know if that's partly from the glucose drink or whatever. I finished that glucose drink, by the way. Drank it in five minutes. Um, so then I had to get my blood drawn um, an hour after. But yeah, the glucose drink was fine. I forgot to tell her about that. I was supposed to tell her how it was. Anyway, it um, it tasted like Sprite. Or another thing I thought it tasted like was green flavor ice. If you've ever like had like those push pop things, you can get them like really cheap at the grocery store. That's another thing that it tasted like. So it tasted really yummy. So if you're wondering whether to get it or not, I would. Tasted fine. I think maybe the fruit punch had a little more flavor, so maybe that was a little better, but whatever. Next pregnancy, I'll try the orange one and then I'll have tried them all, I guess. So yeah, it went great. It was a good appointment, it went really fast. I go in, well, I'm supposed to go in four weeks um, for my next appointment, but my doctor is actually gonna be out of the office. I think she's going on vacation. And so I'm going a week beforehand. So I'm going in three weeks instead of four weeks, which is fine. And we'll get all that tested. Um, I will know my glucose tests in about two days. So today's Tuesday and I'll know by Thursday. I'm hoping my tests are fine. My doctor was saying usually by the second pregnancy, a lot of moms become anemic. Um, just your body is go through a lot creating these babies so it'll be interesting i hope oh i hope i don't have to take the three hour test i didn't have to with grace and i passed it the first time with him so hopefully everything goes well um 
and hopefully I can still eat my sugar because I really like sugar. <laughs> Maybe I should have ice cream tonight just in case it does turn um, bad and I have to take the test again. So, um, and even if I, it, I fail this time, it doesn't mean I have it. I still have to take a three hour test, but hopefully I don't have to do that. But all in all, it was great. Um, I had to wear a mask. So I got this mask, my mom had a bunch, so I just took some from her. And um, they did take my temperature right when I walked in the building. Interestingly, they took my temperature using the inside of my wrist. Everywhere I've gone, they've taken the temperature from my forehead, but this time was the wrist. I wonder why it is that way. I don't know if it's because people are like, preparing for the forehead and so they try to keep the forehead like cool and so they try to catch you off guard or something with that I don't know because my mom was telling me that in um, other states people will blast the AC in their car and then stick their face in front of it for like a minute or two and then go and have their temperature taken and be fine so I don't know if that's it or I don't know I didn't even know you could get your temperature from the inside of your um, from the inside of your wrist but apparently you can and they took my temperature. I think I was like 97.3. I was fine. I've been fine every time I've kept my temperature taken. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it. As of right now, they're only allowing one visitor um, per patient in the hospital. I'm hoping by September that increases to two. I don't know. I'd love it for my mom to be in the delivery room when I deliver, but I'm just not sure if that's going to be possible or not. So we'll see. My doctor was saying that she thinks that once flu season comes around, that cases are going to, are going to go up. So she said if she had to pick when to have it, you know, sometime in the summer, September's like end of summer, like that's a good time to have it. She said she's more worried about November patients. So thankfully I don't have a baby coming later in the year. So Hopefully, if there is a second wave or anything, it's not till after I have this baby. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I need to get back. Anthony took a half day to watch Grayson for me. My mom's out of town and my sister's on her honeymoon, so there was no one to watch Grayson. So Anthony did for me. So that was very nice of him. He took a half day off of work. And so I'm going to go home and um, I think we're going to go on a walk. Um, we went on a walk in our neighborhood yesterday and there's a elementary school in our neighborhood and they have playgrounds and at first I thought that you weren't allowed to go on them but since it's summer I figure it's fine and I've been multiple times during the day and after hours and no one's ever said anything so we might take Grayson again he loves that park um, so I'm sure I'll I'll record it a little bit if I can convince Anthony to come with me so yeah doing great baby is kicking and healthy and just really stretched out so <laughs> yay <laughs> but yeah I think that's it so yeah I'll talk to you guys soon